Now then YouTube and the Toffman and welcome back to some more Newport County Manager Mode, part 189 I think we're on now guys and I'm still looking for a centre back, I went to have a look at Liverpool but really there's nobody there that's great enough to have a look, um, no I know Matthias Ginter, he was pretty good on Football Manager but probably not in this game, we're just having a look guys, just you know, floating around, seeing if we can find anybody that's uh, decent enough. I have put a, a couple of inquiries in. One in particular for uh, a City uh, defender who's 19 years of age. It would be nice to be able to get this guy, but uh, we'll see what happens. I, I'm, I'm looking for a, an okay, you know, a fastish kind of person. Mikel, uh, nah. Um, and then Chelsea is going to be the last one, I think, for over here. Let's see if we can find anybody. Let's see if we can find anybody, see if, uh, you know, there's uh, anybody who wants to join. Now, I have looked for somebody else as well. Andreas Christensen. No, it's pretty shit. In terms of, uh, you know, speed and stuff like that. Nathan Ake. Well, he's got pretty good speed there. And there's uh, standing tackle, sliding tackle. Let's put a, 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 an inquiry in about him. His contract's expiring in less than a year as well. So, it's not bad. It's not bad. And who knows? It could be good. It might not be. Who the fuck? Who, who knows? We'll see. We'll, we'll have a look anyway. Now, centre-backs usually tend to cost a lot less than what all, all the rest of the uh, teams do. So, Kent R. Hamoud. Now, this is one of the Man City ones that I was looking at. Um, 14 and a half million. That was the legendary one that I was looking at. Oh, it's no way I can afford him. And then this guy of 8.5 million. So, Kent R. Hamoud looks like the guy, if I was to go for somebody, looks like the guy I would go for. Now, let me just... Before I put in a, a transfer offer... I want you two guys to see this guy. I do have him on my short list, uh, on my long list, as it's turning out to be once again. Um, Kent Are Hamoud. Now, as you can see, it's he's quite he's, he's quite fast. I mean, don't get me wrong, his sliding tackle and his his, his standing tackle are pretty shit, but he's he's faster than what the other than what everybody else in my team is. And when you do that overhead through ball, I need somebody with a little bit of speed in there that can get in and you know nick the ball and. His standing tackle says to me that he's a pretty good player. I'm going to put in an offer for him, because I can. Uh, approach him to buy. His value is 1.3 million. Probably wants to try and get him for less, is what it says. I'm going to put a million pound bid in. If we can get this guy for a million quid, it would be good. It would be good. It will give me, give me another option. It will certainly give me another option at centre-back. I don't particularly need anybody else. It would be nice to get somebody else. Looking at this, you know, Kadir. Kadir's mm, got a brilliant, brilliant right foot on him. Look, and he's 72 rated. How old is he? 25. He's still got a couple of seasons of improving. We don't have a couple of seasons. Though. I know you guys are keep, will keep on saying it. You don't have a couple of seasons. You've got to get into the Champions League. That is very, very true. Wilson Eduardo um, did a, r a real good job in the last uh, in the last season. His crossing's just fucking spectacular. Xavi will also, you know, he's just a he's a, he's a legend. Is that guy? Uh, so is Rayo Bocablenco. I believe that him, were, in central defensive midfielder, he was absolutely key in the last in the last season. Absolutely key in the last season. So, let's uh, just continue on. We'll see where we go from there. We'll see if this uh, this centre-back, you know, says that, yes, I'll come and play for you, all that kind of uh, good good stuff, good business. Is that they've accepted it? One million? Now, this is going to be the, the downside to the Premier League is wages. <laughs> wages. Holy flying bastards. That is a lot of fucking wage. However... I believe that 19 years old, this guy's only going to get better. And I don't mind paying that. I really don't mind paying for that. I really don't mind paying for that. It says he's a future first-team player. We're going to go with an important first-team player. Shall we do that or should we go for squad rotation? No, let's go for an important first-team player. We'll submit that offer. We'll see what he says to that and then we'll move forward. I'm probably going to have a load of people screaming at me, but you know, it's just, oh yeah, eventually... Here's the backup left back, and I'm going to have to switch some money over to me wages because I haven't got enough to pay for what's his first now. 550k for this, guys. We'll have a look at that guy in just a second. I need to go and pop over some money before I forget. Um, <clears throat> plenty of money. <laughs> no, no problems with, uh, with wage budget and stuff. So let's go and have a look at this new guy. New left back. This is going to be in replacement of uh, our left back, Silver D'Souza. He's done a fantastic job. Let's not beat around the bush, guys. The Silver D'Souza has done an absolutely fantastic job. Ooh, maybe. 
This guy is not as good as what we said he was going to be. However, he is still young at 20. How old is Thingamabob, actually? Ooh, he's 20 as well. Holy shit. One of them's going to be annoyed. Uh, and most probably, at this rate, Silver D'Souza is m actually better than what the other guy is. Look at him. Greens, yellows, all across the board here. And Mains Garcia there. Greens, uh, well, one green, a bit of yellow. Other than that, not much more going for himself there. But we've got another backup left back there. He's probably going to whinge like fuck halfway through the season. We're not playing him often enough and all that kind of shit. But still, look at this. Look at this, man. This this, this is not good. This, um, We need another... Man, do we, oh, Jesus Christ, we need a lot of players. Looking at this, right, we've got... We've got, we've got a good first team. It's good. You know, it's not brilliant. It's good. <sighs> if anybody gets injured or unfit, our second team is not exactly brilliant, is it? It's not brilliant. It's not good. We need another central attacking midfielder. I mean, Zach Kin is there, but he's 69. And it's not too bad. But it could still be much better in regards to attributes. I don't know, guys. I don't know. I'm probably going to have a lot of people screaming at the screen. The thing is that... That's my chair, by the way. Just adjusting myself. The um, the, the thing is, guys, that I do quite a lot of things, uh, you know, before I put the episodes out. So you guys will be like... You'll see something and you're like, oh, it's off, man. Get this person. Get this person. Genuine, gen generally, I don't tend to buy people that keep, people keep saying to me, get this person, get this person, especially in this kind of career mode. In my simulated career mode, it's slightly different because, you know, that's a simulated career mode and especially the way that I'm doing that simulated career mode means that, you know, with the highest amount of potential and stuff like that with those players. This is different. This is a team that I like to create and, uh, you know, tend to... Th this guy here, Makienot, was somebody that people said, hey, go and, go and get this guy because he's, he's better than Hansen and all this stuff. Turns out it's worse than Hansen. Uh, so, I don't know, I'm a little bit I'm a little bit wary about, you know, adding people in and stuff like that. But, who knows? Who knows, guys? We've still got a really young team in terms of age. A real, real young team. Technically, uh, Atkinson should be better than Rayo Bokobalenko in central defensive mid. But it's just not. <sighs> to do... I've got no back backup left mid either. Apart from Pereira Reyes, and he's shit. That'd be a good idea then. Uh, a left mid. A left mid, possibly. I'm just wondering if it's worth, you know, getting people in on loan. Premier League. Backless Premier League. Player age max. 22. See what to say. We'll see what, there's, what there is around the Premier League. You never know. Raheem <clears throat> um, Sterling. God. Acceleration. Acceleration. As you would expect from some of these guys. Um, hmm. Maurizio Funzalida. Physical's alright, but his technical's... Get Raheem Sterling. I'd never be able to afford him anywhere. But he's fucking brilliant. And that's it. That's all there is at uh, left mid wise. That's that's annoying. Right, let's take this off. Let's take this off, right, and go for loan listed players in the Premier League, left midfield. Uh, and then we'll move on to see if we can find another left midfielder somewhere else. It'd be nice to get a better uh, backup left mid than what we've currently got. So there he is again, look, Maurizio Funzalida. But it's not great. It's just not... It's not great. Valentin Auzquir. Fucking hell, how do you pronounce that? I don't know, but he's crossing shit. Oops, let's move over to Syria. Why not? Let's have a look at Syria left mids to have a loan, uh, a loan of. See if we can find somebody who's pretty decent at Whippigen. Christian Rodriguez. This guy looks fucking good. Pop 
possibly not. And that's it for that one. <laughs> um, I keep doing that. We need to go over to Liga BBVA now, please. There we go. Right, let's have a look for somebody else. Left midfielder on loan. You know, I'm looking for crossing, so why don't I just look for crossing? Fabrice Alinga. Now, this is a guy that people keep telling me about. The thing is that this guy is pretty good. And I think that he'll more likely be uh, on at me about first team football. Let's inquire about him anyway, why not? What can you what places can you play? Can you play right mid as well? No, he can play striker as well. Okay. That'd be interesting. And then right at the end there, uh, Juan Jose Barrera Reyes. Doesn't look too bad actually. Hmm. Mind you, it's probably not as, uh, not as, not even better than the other guy. I don't know. This is so annoying with the way that they've done this scouting system now. I'd love to just go in and say, look for me a first team guy on the left wing and stuff like that, but it's just not going to happen. New sign in the right. We already know this. Boss might make a request. You'll say, Paolo, rotating the squad, giving me a chance to play, all that kind of kind of stuff. Most probably am. In all honesty. This was only uh, a look at the squad of what it might look like. Ass Bandit is actually going to be going in there, is he? No. Let's give Paolo a game. Why not? Um, I want to try to risk these guys the least that I can. So I'm going to go ahead and give the guys that are the, the shit ones the more, more of a chance. Pereira Reyes, Zach Kinney, Mackie Enoch, and Fokker. Why not? It's only friendlies, not to be worrying about. Just hopefully somebody don't come off the bench and get injured. That would be very annoying. A home game against Freiburg. Now we've got we've got uh, European football as well to think about. One nil, Chavez. Not bad for a, a second string side there. Scuff it in goal. One point four million for Fabrice Alinga. I don't think that's a bad deal. I think that's pretty good. We could get him for less. Let's try one mil. Could be worth it. Could certainly be worth it. Give my you know, my team a little bit of depth. People can whinge about first team football as much as they like. No worries. No worries. Whinge about first team football as much as they like, guys, but Wait, it needs to if it needs to be done, it needs to be done. We need to get the, the depth, the strength in depth for this season. Declined it. A bigger role in your squad, he says. So he wants crucial first team player and 25 fucking thousand pounds. This will give me strength and depth, that signing will. If I can pull that one off, that'd be good. It might even be first team, like proper first team, but you never know. Away game against Napoli. And I'm tempted. No, I want to do a, a, a switcheroo on this one. Alfonso Ariola, all sorts of stuff going on there. We'll go ahead and we'll just go ahead and start that game. Uh, fingers crossed that nobody gets injured. Please. Please, 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 please. It's the only thing that worries me about skipping these these preseason games. 3-2. That is not a bad result against Napoli, guys. This is Champions League side, you know, football. Um, Silva de Souza is scoring in the 81st. 3-2. Away from home as well. That's a fantastic result. It's a fantastic result. One that we didn't win, but it's a fantastic result. Transfer offers one... <laughs> 1.1 million pounds. Okay, fair enough. We'll go ahead and give you 1.1 million pounds. And his wage isn't too bad either. So, it's not bad. It's not bad. Let's go ahead. We've got AC Milan coming up. Contract offer has been accepted. Brilliant stuff. There's another guy to add to the books. We've got Kent Arya Hamoud. To, oh no, he, what, that was the guy, wasn't it? We just got to wait for Fabrice Alinga to see whether or not he's going to be doing anything. Let's have a quick gander at uh, Fabrice, or, uh, not Fabrice Alinga, the other guy. Hamoud, 70 rated, not bad. Let's uh, look at him a bit closer. So his acceleration and sprint speed is slightly faster than the other guys. In, not in the greens, as I was expecting, but 
I mean, his defensive abilities aren't bad at all. They're not bad at all, guys. And I believe Salagov's just got kicked out of the team by this guy, so he's not going to be too happy. Uh, Salagov, his strength, though, 82 strength, that's, that can't be sniffed at. And the standing tackle's not bad either. But we'll see where we go. We'll see where we go from there. We've got AC Milan, we've got Fabrice Linga to have a look at as well. Cut price Hamoud. Not bad. Not bad at all. Let's go ahead and do the old switcheroo. See whether or not Hamoud actually does get into uh, into this team. AC Milan, guys. That's a big game. Scuff it's in goal again. Zatkin is actually in uh, central attacking mid along with... Hmm, interesting. Please no injuries. Again, I must reiterate this point. No injuries. Can we get through an injury-free preseason? That's what I would like. Ah, fuck! Now, luckily, it's not my first team guy, but it's so annoying to get injuries in the preseason. It really is. Is it a bad one? Please don't let it be a bad one. We look forward to seeing your leadership. We must look to avoid relegation. Brilliant. 1.1 million, they've accepted that. So we will go ahead and offer him exactly that. Um, ooh, now this is interesting. It's probably most like he is going to be a squad rotation player. But if he whinges about it, I'll just put it up, guys. There's no point, there's no point worrying about it. It's probably going to get... Oh, you fucking... Fucking wanking bastards. That's all I say about it, guys. That's all I say about it. Fucking wanking bastards. Arsenal in the cup. First game of the season. It doesn't get much harder than that. <laughs> it doesn't get much harder than that, does it? It does not. Well, it could be it could be persuaded, he says. Let's give him six grand. Squad rotation. Bonus per goal. Not that it really matters. He says he could be persuaded. Which is interesting. Not, I want a bigger role. Um, help me realise it was not in my coffin. It's not being given to me. Fuck off! It's pre-season! Holy shit, Rhea. Don't you worry about it. You're going to be getting it in the next match anyway, so... Community Shield! That's what it is. I forget about that. I totally forget about that. Anyway, that's going to be coming up in the next episode. It's obviously not going to be in this one, because it's too late as it is. So... Until next time, guys, I've been the Tough Man. Thanks very much for watching, and as always, stay safe.